There are two actions in Genesis code that are actually quite straightforward. They are the destroy action and the swap action. Right now we'll talk about the destroy action. When the conditions are met, an action object will be destroyed. Right now we have set the action object to itself. That's what this object means. That's what this prefab means. Every time you see this, it means that it's going to, uh, it's referring to itself. We'll set the probability to 100. And I've also, I've also copy pasted the same script here. So if we click on both objects, they're going to self-destruct. That's how the destroy action works. Now for the swap action, we're going to go to this object, the main camera. What we want to do is swap the cube and the sphere. What that means is that we're swapping their locations, we're swapping their positions. So the cube object will be in the sphere object's location, and the sphere object will be in the cube object's location. And we want that to happen when we press the space key in the game. See? You can even let it do kind of some quantum mechanics weird stuff. So that's how the destroy action and the swap action work. Now, because we have some extra time, I can go ahead and talk about object referrals. So, you notice these buttons, this, other, and none. You, you have these options for every Genesis code script component. And what they do is, they, you can use them to, man, to automatically clear the object field like there. You can set it to um, these two special objects gc underscore this and gc underscore other. The, the gc underscore this prefab which you can see here if you followed the setup guide in the documentation folder it should have told you to drag and drop every single prefab from the prefabs folder in the project tab to your game's hierarchy tab. So for, for the this prefab, what it lets you do is set the action object to itself. So no matter what object it is, it could be the main camera, direction light, so long as this is the action object, it's going to automatically refer to itself. For the other, it's going to it's going to it's going to perform the action on whatever collision object there is. So every it will apply the action to every single collision object that it collides with. So, if this sphere collides with a cube object, it's going to destroy the cube object when it collides with it. If it's, go if it's colliding with a directional light object, it's also going to destroy that. This is actually a really recent feature that's been added onto Genesis code in order to help with collisions and dealing with... Um, actions that are applied to the objects that are being collided with. Alright guys, so I think that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for more videos coming for Genesis Code.